Hello everyone, Frank Spengler here for Learning Media Skills and uh, kind of excited today because we are talking about the latest release of my favorite uh, video editing software, Edius Pro. And uh, this is version 10. And today what I would like for us to do is take a look at some of the new features and uh, discuss whether or not it's uh, worth making the upgrade. Of course, for me, the short answer is absolutely. I was finding that with version 9, some of the newer codecs that were coming off iPhone, uh, GoPro, the drones, and some of the newer cameras were having a little bit of difficulty getting that real-time experience with Edius 9. And with the release of uh, version 10, we are seeing a big improvement on that. And so... If you want the short answer and be able to move on to the next video, I'll just say yes, it's absolutely worth the upgrade. And if you have never really tried Edius before, um, I'd really recommend it. I've been doing video production now for about 30 years, and I've worked on Avid Systems, uh, Premiere Pro from Adobe, uh, After Effects, Resolve, and I always seem to keep coming back to Edius. Pro because it's just such a nice clean interface and uh, lots of real time and uh, something that you can cut on very fast. But for today, uh, let's take a look at the new features. Let's head on over to Grass Valley website and uh, take a look at the list of uh, new features for this package. And we can find that under products, going to production, editing, and then select Edius 10. And here we have a nice uh, list of the key features. It's not an exhaustive list of all of the new items. And uh, first of all is background rendering. This is new to version 10. And I think all of these that are listed here as key features are, are really the new features of version 10. Um, background rendering. So what is that? That's basically saying that if you have a piece of video that you've got on your timeline that isn't playing in real time and it's kind of frustrating to work with, well, you can set that particular clip to render. But in the past, it used to be that while that was happening, you just kind of had to wait. You couldn't move on with your edit. And if it was a large section, you might just have to go get a coffee while that little piece of uh, video rendered. It uh, could be that you have a, a, a section of your timeline that has lots of layers that isn't playing in real time, and you want to be able to see what that looks like. So you want to set that to rendering. Well, now, rather than waiting, you can set that section to rendering and go back to working on your timeline. And it's the same with the background export. Whenever you uh, finished a draft of a project and you wanted to send it to the client, well... You'd export your timeline, but while that was happening, again, you couldn't really continue working on anything. And uh, so that is all changed now in version 10. You can set a project to rendering or to exporting and uh, continue working while it does that. Version 10 comes with what's called a job monitor. And that is just a little piece of software that works in the background when you're doing an export or a render. And uh, it kind of hides that activity uh, so that you can continue working. But if you ever want to check on the progress of your render or your export, you can just click on that. It'll come open uh, in a pop-up window and let you know how things are progressing. People coming from earlier versions of Edius, the first time they go to export a project, uh, they're wondering, well, is it working or not? Because they're not seeing the usual export um, information showing up on the screen. It has started and is in usually a icon that's on your taskbar. So if you want to see the progress at any time of your export, You'll just click on that little icon and the pop-up window will show you what's happening. And we see that it uh, has broadened or, or enhanced the plugin support for VST, uh, third-party software. 
Motion Tracker uh, with Chase Mode and Motion Tracker with Anchor Mode. If you have uh, had the chance to take a look at some of the preview videos that were showing this summer before Edius 10 was released from edius.net, uh, you'll have an idea of what we're talking about there. If you haven't had a chance to see those, it's worth taking a look at. It gives you an idea of some of the new features of Edius 10 in a video format, uh, and especially how these motion trackers are working. I'm not sure uh, when I might use something like that, but it's nice to know it's there in case you have to. I think probably the most that I might use that is if I have to blur a face and that face is moving around, well, then I would certainly find this uh, very helpful. H.265 export. Here in the feature list, it uh, outlines how EDIUS 10 speeds up the uh, rendering times of H.265 uh, video. Uh, now, it does point out, and you should know, that this only works if you have an NVIDIA GPU card in your system. That may change down the road, we're not sure, but if you want to take advantage of that, uh, maybe you should check your system, see what kind of graphics card you have in your system, or be prepared to uh, run out and purchase an NVIDIA card to take advantage of that feature. Now, even though it doesn't mention it here, I have to uh, say that I have noticed a real difference between version 9 and version 10 as to the real-time playback of H.265 video. Um, I have some footage shot on an XF300 Canon camera that uh, I really was struggling with when it came time to play that in version 9, but now it plays it quite smoothly with uh, lots of room on the buffers. So, not just export, but I would say also real-time playback of H.265. GUI Color. EDIUS 10 comes with a refined... Um, GUI in a bit darker color. Mm, yeah, I don't know if it's a big feature that we can boast about, but um, it does, it's pleasing to me. A lot of times when they change the uh, interface, uh, change the color a little bit, people complain. Haven't noticed a lot of complaints uh, this time, and uh, looks good to me. Optimized performance. EDIUS 10 is all about better performance, and perhaps this is where they are uh, talking about the better real-time. That's what I have noticed the real difference in on my system. Now, I kind of upgraded my system at the same time, basically, that I got 10, but I've left 9 on my computer system so that I can compare the difference between 9 and 10 uh, on the same system, and we'll show you some of that so that you can readily see the advantage of uh, version 10 when it comes to performance and real-time editing. It does uh, point out that you do need Windows 10, so if you're still working with uh, Windows 7 Pro uh, or something in between, you need to know that if you want to upgrade to EDIUS 10, that you're going to also need Windows 10. I believe that this is going to be the year of the 10. It's the year when you will probably upgrade to uh, the 10th generation of Intel uh, processor, uh, and you're going to work in EDIUS 10 with Windows 10, the year of the 10. All right, optimized audio sync performance, uh, something that uh, editors who are working with a lot of multi-cam edits uh, would probably appreciate uh, the benefits there native support for the latest cameras and codecs. Well, that's nothing new. I guess we all kind of know that EDIUS Pro has uh, kind of been a world leader in that regard. It always seems to know what cameras are coming down the pike, uh, the dates of their release, and uh, it does its best to support the any new codecs that are coming with those new cameras. And uh, we are able to take advantage of that because of the regular new updates of each version, and ongoing continuous development. Well, we've already talked about that and how EDIUS does that. All right, let's uh, maybe just take a look at some samples here. We talked about uh, footage from a XF300 camera. 
shortly after the uh, XF300 was released, I was uh, involved in a shoot where uh, we had uh, rented a, a unit, and uh, one of the photographers on the team was using it. But uh, the producer was very frustrated because they couldn't take a look at the footage except by plugging the camera directly into a monitor and playing it from the camera. But as far as bringing it into her Premiere Pro, she just, I don't think it even at that time would open or play the files at all. Uh, it was only with my Edius Pro Workgroup version 9 that we were able to kind of take a look at it. I was working with a laptop, so it wasn't the fastest unit. So let's just take a look now. This is, uh, I've opened this up in version 9 Workgroup, the latest version of it. And let's take a look at how it plays here on my new desktop, which is... I'll put the specs in the description below. It's got a fairly fast processor. And so it is now actually able to play these clips fairly well in version 9. But let's take a look and compare the buffers uh, between version 9 and version 10 with these H.265 HEVC codec coming from the XF300. We'll take a look at the buffers down here. It's playing it kind of but with uh, a little bit of stutter here and there. Much better than when we filmed this, and I was trying to look at it on my laptop, even using version 9. Uh, so that's something that you might want to consider. If you are still working with an older computer and you're not ready to upgrade, and some of these codecs are having difficulty playing in real time, I think that perhaps one of the cheapest upgrades that you will be able to do in order to get better real-time is by upgrading to version 10. So we notice the buffers there struggling even with my fast new computer. Okay, let's close that and open it up in version 10 and take a look at it there. So here we are in version 10. We're using the exact same computer system. We've actually opened the exact same project. We're playing the exact same footage, and this time the only difference is we're now using version 10, and as we look down at the buffers, we see we've got plenty of room here, and it's playing in full real time, which if you have <laughs> tried to work with uh, some of these difficult codecs that are coming off the new cameras, uh, in version 9, you will really appreciate, <laughs> I can say. Now, um, there's just one more thing I want to show you before we close up. Let's open this up again in Edius 9. And I would like to submit that the feature that I'm about to show you is in and of itself enough of a good reason to make the upgrade to version 10. And that is the... Uh, the ability that you now have in version 10 to change the resolution of your preview monitor to give you better real-time playback. In version 9, this feature was only available if you put down the extra cash to get the work group version. But in version 10, this feature is now uh, available uh, just in the regular release of um, Edius 10 Pro. You don't have to get the work group in order to have this feature. So let's take a look at this clip. We know that it kind of stuttered in uh, version 9, uh, especially on some of the older systems. But if you wanted to have real time and edit in real time, I found that all I had to do usually with most clips was just change the resolution to half. Uh, and then I could have a number of layers, uh, be able to play more layers, play iPhone footage, GoPro footage, that type of thing in more real time by just adjusting the resolution of my playback monitor. And yeah, it gets a little fuzzy when uh, you, you know, go to like one eighth resolution, but having the ability to see your edit in real time uh, is wonderful and as any editor knows, almost necessary to do a good edit. If you can't get that real time, oftentimes you have to move to a kind of a proxy edit if you're working on a slower computer. But 
then it's difficult to color grade and it you know, just introduces more frustration. Having this ability to change your, the resolution of your preview monitor to give you more real time is, in my humble opinion, enough of a reason to make the jump to version 10. All right, I believe that does it for my thoughts on whether it's worth it to make the upgrade to Edius 10. And if you're brand new to the channel, why not uh, hit that uh, subscribe button? We'll be releasing a number of videos on Edius 10. And even if you're not uh, going to make the switch to Edius 10, most of the tutorials that we'll be doing are applicable to versions 8 and 9. So if you're working with an older version and you're not ready to make the upgrade, no worries. Most of the, our tutorials will be applicable to you as well. And uh, so go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you down the road.